Hey, welcome back, y'all. We are up in the attic again, and we are talking about this Honeywell ERV. I'm going to tell you three reasons why I regret buying this thing and installing it in my house. Let's get started. Reason number one, the cost of this thing. I did a DIY install video, so I'm thinking I might have saved some money, but who really knows because I spent about $3,000 installing this unit. The unit itself, I paid about $1,100 for just the unit. I spent about another $1,900 on all the other stuff like duct work and what all the HVAC supplies and materials and stuff I needed. So $1,100, my arm is getting tired. $1,100 plus $1,900, that's about $3,000 I spent to install this thing. Yes, it's working. It's okay. But I now know another solution I could have used much cheaper instead of spending $3,000. I wish I had my money back. Reason number two was the crazy install time. It took me six months to install this thing. I mean two months, not six. It took two months to install this ERV. Okay, yes, I did it all by myself. And I used all six inch rigid, rigid, solid, hard duct work, whatever. And I just did like an hour here and two hours there, maybe a six or seven hours on a Saturday. And it was done after my house was built. I think if I would have installed it when the house was being constructed, yeah, I could have slapped it in in like a day or two, no problem. But I did it after the house was built. So that took a lot of extra time. Obviously, I could have paid a contractor. I'm very particular about certain things and the way I want things installed. And my house was built so terribly, even though I found a great contractor, he did a terrible job. So if I would have hired someone, yeah, they could have threw it in a lot faster, but it probably wouldn't be the way I want it. Things would not be right. All right, and the final thing, the thing that never goes away because the first two, the time to install, that's in the past. The money I spent to install it, that's in the past. I'm over it. The thing that never goes away for the rest of the, my life here, owning this house, the never ending ridiculous cleaning and maintenance of this thing. Now I say maintenance, but I really mean cleaning, right? The never ending maintenance. Now, I live in Georgia, and it is hot and humid pretty much all year. We don't really have a winter around here. And uh, winter, we don't have winter. We have bugs and pollen and humidity and heat all winter sometimes. So this thing gets nasty and dirty. And let me show you. It's time to clean this thing. Honestly, you're supposed to clean it about every three months, like four times a year. And once a year, at least, do a really good deep cleaning. Oh, yeah. This thing is disgusting. This core here, you, you got to clean it out at least once a year. Now, every three months, I take everything out and I vacuum it. But the core, you're supposed to soak at least once a year. Give it a real good deep cleaning. But this right here. Now, again, you can pay somebody probably. I just had my HVAC unit serviced and they cleaned them and do whatever. Maybe they'll clean this thing, but I don't want to pay for that. I mean, so you're either going to do the labor part or you're going to pay for the service. I regret installing this thing because I'm either going to have to spend a bunch of money to have somebody clean this thing, or I'm going to have to do it every three months. And then I get lazy. I, I get lazy. And I do it like every six months. And this thing is a disgusting. I mean, can you see? This is gross. I mean, that's gross. Honestly, I have no idea. I probably have it wrote on a calendar last time I cleaned this thing, but it's gross. Okay, I can't even stick that in there. We're about to go outside. I think it's about to get dark because it's kind of late at night. But we're going to go ahead and start cleaning this thing wash everything out. We'll get it back together tomorrow. 
the maintenance. I mean, it's a lot of work, man. You got to get all up in here. You get dust, dirt, and pollen. There's bugs jammed all up in there. Like, it's a lot of work. I regret this thing because of this maintenance. So, Honeywell, as far as a product, it is it's a good product. I mean, it's a great product. It works. It does what it's supposed to do. It's quiet. No problem. Now, I've had it for two years. How long will it last? These are two DC motors in here. Hopefully, they last at least till I sell my house in a few years. But the maintenance. Have I said that yet? The cleaning and the maintenance are terrible. I hate this thing. I regret installing it. If you're thinking about putting one of these in your house, think about this. Do you want to clean this thing every three months? Is there a better or a different way that you can ventilate your house? Hey, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon.